I am Ramona, and you're watching Ramona Interviews. And with me today, um, I wanted, wanted to take about 15 minutes to talk about a kind of new subject. Uh, with us is the Public Affairs Specialist and Native American Outreach Coordinator for the FDA, Joseph Rolandis. Welcome, Joseph. Thank you, Ramona. Um, you have a minority is it a nutrition program or just a minority? How, how does it? Well, we have, we have a, a minority health office in the FDA, and it, you know, it doesn't get a lot of press, a lot of publicity. So it's it's great that you, you you're, you're taking some time to focus on that. Um, the the agency has a huge regulatory mission, and that regulatory mission goes to all 300 and. 8 million Americans, and, and part of that population mix are, are Native Americans, the, the American Indian, big part of that. And a lot of folks don't understand that, that we in the, in, in the FDA address their needs as well. Um, and if you, if you look at New England, which is we're, we're the six state New England region, um, we have 10 recognized tribes in New England. In the six states, we have we, 10, 10 recognized, recognized tribes. And, and a lot of tribes that just don't have federal recognition, but still exist in, in part and parcel all over the place. You can go as, as close as, as Grafton, Massachusetts, and get part of the Nipmuc Indian tribe that are down there in Grafton. You can go up to Maine and get the Passamaquoddy and, and uh, the, the Maliset Indians who are up in Maine. So there's a, a big Indian footprint, a big Indian factor, a population factor here in New England. So they're here, they're here. They're not all casino Indians. Right. They don't all run casinos. Some of them uh, are extremely uh, challenged as far as, as wealth goes and uh, just barely getting by. Um, as far as, as, as economic means go. So we have a, you know, a, a, big, a big tribal recognition factor. And so part of what I do is, is get out and bring the FDA's message to the clinics uh, you know, throughout New England, the Indian the Native American clinics throughout uh, New England. Um, and um, I mean, the, the Indian tribes have lots of challenges going on. You know, substance abuse, uh, obesity, you know, just things like that that challenge the regular, um, regular American population hits the, the Native Americans really hard, really hard. So what we do is, is we try to bring to the, the clinics, the working clinics on the reservations, information that can be applied, you know, to the, the tribal members, uh, you know, things on, you know, proper nutrition. Uh, we've, we've talked about, um, you know, uh, drug abuse, we've talked about substance abuse, uh, you know, how to read labels, how to understand food labels, um, you know, how to reach out to the federal government for things that they need and under, need to understand that can help them. Uh, one thing which we've, we've found that, that the Native Americans are very concerned about um, are terrorist threats, and they don't seem at times to be read in to terrorist awareness in this country. I mean, they're, I mean, they serve, you know, they serve in, in the workforce. They serve, definitely serve in the armed forces. They fight terrorism. Um, and they need to be aware of the terrorist threat in this country. You know, whether it's, it's you know, it's, it's food, uh, you know, food attack on the food source, food defense, food safety, um, whether it's attack on, on you know, the, the, the medical devices, the things that they need and use. Um, they need to be aware that, that terrorism impacts the reservations as well as, you know, the rest of the country too. Mm -hmm. So it's um, outreach to the Native Americans is, is an ongoing thing. It's a major concern to them. Um, they can't be ruled out or left out of the awareness and education, uh, you know, information that's, that's available to them. So they're, they're out there. So, you know, working with the, uh, the Native Americans, you know, whether it's a recognized tribe or an unrecognized tribe is a big role, a big part of the, uh, of the FDA's uh, Minority Health Outreach Program. What is, just very briefly, um, a recognized tribe versus a non-recognized tribe? When you say recognized tribe, that mean, what does that mean? Just very briefly, it means that they have federal recognition. In other words, they've had a lawyer, they've petitioned. They have federal recognition Correct. as being their own sovereign place? That, that's basically it. They, they have their own sovereign, you know, tribal grounds, tribal rules and regulations, tribal outreach programs. They have, you know, certain tax benefits or tax exemptions. Um, they get certain uh, financial support from the federal government. Uh, to be federally recognized uh, is an important part of a tribal, uh, a tribal uh, a tribe's ancestry, a tribe's uh, future progress, uh, a, a tribe's sense of who they are, 
Um, because so, they own the land, the, the land bec then becomes theirs that they can do with whatever correct. they would like. That's correct. They and they can govern their people according to their own cultural norms and... You, you've ever done your homework because that's largely what it's all, it's all about. If you're federally recognized, you have a certain degree of autonomy, um, but a certain degree of also financial support and support by the federal government. It just makes them more credible, you might say, in, in the American mainstream. So if you're a federally recognized tribe, um, you have all those benefits that go with it and certain responsibilities that go with it. Unrecognized tribes um, don't have anywhere near the support from the federal government and from the local state governments as do federally recognized tribes. And, and that is because they are mandated when you're a federally recognized tribe to receive certain money? That's correct. That's okay. correct. And um, there, 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 I, know, I don't know all the criteria that, that makes them federally recognized, mm -hmm. but it's, it's a population base, it's a historical lineage, um, it's verification that they have, they, they are who they are, they, they're who they say they are. Mm -hmm. um, so there, there are a lot of criteria that they have to satisfy to become federally recognized. Um, and not all tribes do that. Not all tribes can do that. Um, Maybe I, because they just don't have that many people? They don't. They, they don't, they don't have the, the population base. They don't have, uh, they can't, you know, dot all the, you know, the I's and cross all the T's that they need mm -hmm. to become federally recognized. Um, and I've gone out both, Ramona, two tribes that are, that are recognized by the federal government and tribes that are not recognized by the federal government. And, um, you, know, to be, to, you know, to be fair with you, not all Indians are the, the wealthy casino Indians. They don't have the casino in their, on their, their, their tribal territory, which generates a lot of income and a lot of wealth for them. Some of them are very poor, some of them are extremely poor. And I've seen that. I've seen that in my time on the road for the FDA visiting Native Americans. I've seen some dreadful examples of poverty, really very, very poor situations, uh, you know, where they just don't have the access to the basic creature comforts that, that, that we have. I mean, they're, they're eating, I mean, they have food, but they don't always have good electricity. You know, they don't have, they don't have you know, paved roads on the tribal area. They don't have uh, active clinics. You know, health clinics are so important on, on, on recognized tribal areas. They don't have that. Um, so they are, they are dealing with some, some hard times, really. Do you feel that the, the recognition federally allows that, in other words, when they open up a clinic, you were talking about the clinics earlier, when they open up a clinic, that federal money helps them to open up that clinic? Oh, sure it does, yeah. Okay. You know, federal funding uh, can help a lot when it comes to, uh, you know, quality of life issues, you know, clinics, you know, you know, proper education, proper awareness, proper access to good food, and that's part of what we do when we come out there for the FDA. We bring education to them. We bring uh, awareness as to, you know, you know, the proper, you know, you know, good dietary habits and, and such, and, and it's so important. To, to so the FDA is looking to continue um, with this work, uh, in other words, outreaching to all tribes, re uh, recognized or not recognized, with this information? Yeah, we do. We, we, we get the information out to, to all, Nat all Native Americans. I mean, they're, they're consumers, whether they're, they're Indians or not, they are always our consumers mm -hmm. and need to enjoy uh, the informational outreach that we provide for them. So we'll always be out there working with them. Always will. That's very interesting. Do you know when that was formed? The the, the, the group the, uh, the, my, within the FDA. Yeah, I, you know, I really don't know. It's, or when it went it's, with it, an Indian. It's always been American this. American Indian yeah, subset. It, <laughs> That's what it's yeah, called. You know, yeah. I mean, because you know, the FDA takes care of everybody. <clears throat> it does. Yeah, but you know. I, you know, I, it's, in the 21 years that I've been with the FDA, we've always worked with the Native Americans and other minority groups to you know to, to get our message out and make sure that protection oh, okay. is, is extended to them. And um, so it's been around for a bit. Awesome. Yeah. So we're there. We're, we're there with the Native Americans. So. <laughs> well, thank you very much. And hopefully there'll be more information uh, coming through uh, on this. Information about this particular initiative can be picked up at the website. What's the website again? Once again, www.fda.gov slash minority health. You know, and you can, you, can, you can touch base. You can see what we're doing there and find out, you know, you know how much outreach is, is going out and, and, and the impact and the the. the you know, the positive as aspects of it. Beautiful. Thank you so Very much, Jesse. Not Thank a problem. I am Ramona, and you've been watching Ramona Interviews. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful week.